and this this is how I wanted to frame it because I was listening to this podcast and so that somebody made an off head comment about how that you know that they want to foster um, secure attachment to reality. John Bowlby, I think of Ainsworth, I think of those writings of the, the uh, developmental issues. Right. So part of what happens when we think about a secure attachment to reality is how do we foster a connection to the world, both our inner and outer worlds? How, is right. it something that you, um, uh, uh, you are, is, is there a, a genetic component? Are people born with the capacity to have a good relationship with reality? Because we're going we're gonna to oh, use... Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll use a psychoanalyst. He has a new book coming out, too. Uh, which is in some ways about reality. It's about physics. He's, he wants to take quantum mechanics and apply it to uh, politics. What what sort of epistemology are you approaching this with? Um, and your epistemology will determine ontology, right? Because if it, yeah. there are some folks that would say reality is completely subjective, that it is it is created. There's an I, this, this, that you know that there are subsets of philosophy, idealism, things like that that say that the human mind actually constructs the world that we're in, right? Um, I I like that idea that we can we should talk about a little bit more. But I'm also just had a flash to the Matrix mm -hmm. where we're in a simulation, mm -hmm. so, really, <laughs> I'm or not, Buckethead. I might. <laughs> well, so so if if reality so. A, a good compromise would be that reality is something that probably to some degree is co-constructed or mediated by an individual subjectivity. So you might know who Buckethead is. Um, but if you mention our man Zizek or the whole school of sort of um, Lacanian thought, which is a subset of psychoanalytic thought, right. they believe that reality is always a construction. And that what the thing that we have to grapple with and that we build reality from is among many things, but the major component is the real. And then the next <laughs> time I asked that question, I was like, holy cats, that's really good. That's not, you know, this is... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it, I, I, it is improved uh, drastically, and I, that just... Uh... Which I, I don't know if that's a premonition of things are going to get worse and we're going to be controlled by old which lords or <laughs> could, could be a question we ask and you know does something like AI ChatGPT does it does it foster a healthier attachment to reality.